Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mihai with Wolfpack Society, your Seattle real estate agent. And today I wanna talk about a very interesting topic for uh, people that are interested into investing in real estate. And specifically for those that are in a position that they don't have a high pay job and they are just simply not able to save up a lot of money for down payment. So to be more clear, what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video is about four ways you can use to start investing in real estate with no or very little money. Let's go. So I'm gonna go straight to the point and I'll start with the first method that you can use. And this is uh, house hacking. So uh, you can buy a multifamily property uh, with as little as 3.5% down payment and you use it as a primary residence. Let's say you buy a triplex. You move in in one of the units and number two, you rent out the two other units. And with the money that you're collecting on the rent from those units, you cover your mortgage. Well, again, this is a different question on what is the mortgage amount, what is the um, rent amount in that area that you're purchasing. That's a different question, but um, it is definitely possible to cover the entire mortgage amount. And I understand this might be a strategy that is not for everybody, specifically if you have a family, um, kids, it's mm, kind of hard achievable this way. But if you're single and maybe for a young couple and even, even for a small family, it is still doable. So if your mortgage is covered, uh, all that money that you were supposed to pay the rent, you can save up. You can save up and purchase another multifamily property and move into the next one and use it again as a primary residence. Everything that is required from you is just to show that you will rent out the entire of these units. You will need to show the lease agreements and the deposits uh, from those tenants. Second strategy how you can start investing in real estate with little money is uh, to use the same strategy but for a single family home and basically is you delay the purchase of your dream home. You purchase a house that is going to be turned in a very good rental. Let's say you buy a property that you know that this is not a good fit for you. You know that this is not what your family wants and what you want. Maybe uh, the condition, maybe the location, but you know that in that area, the rents are pretty good. So you live in that property for a couple of years and then you rent it out and you move into the next property through the same strategy. You put the 5% down payment for the next property and you rent out this one. And then you show that you rent out this property with a lease agreement and a deposit in your bank account with the bank statement that shows, uh, you know, that that specific tenant in that lease agreement made that the deposit. And then the next loan, basically, they're gonna deduct your, more, your previous mortgage up to 75%. So basically it's gonna be shown on your credit record as uh, like a small payment because they cannot deduct 100% uh, from the previous mortgage. You're still going to have something on your record. Next strategy is uh, live in house flips. And if you were a handy guy and your family status um, allows you to move into a property that requires like a lot of updates. Of course, if you're gonna have a family and, and young kids, it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, achieve this kind of strategy, uh, you know, live into a house that requires a lot of updates and you constantly do some repairs. But if you are handy and your family status allows you to move in such properties, and basically you're gonna live in that property and you're gonna remodel it over time, right? So you're not gonna spend money on rent. You will pay your mortgage during this time and uh, you will do improvements over time. So after the house is done completely, uh, you can uh, you know, sell it for top dollar and then buy the next property and do the same way. So uh, here's another strategy for you. Next one is master lease option. Uh, this one is a more complicated strategy, uh, how you can invest with almost no money at all. And that is more concerned about apartment buildings, commercial buildings, stuff like that. 
less single family residences. And this is the strategy that Brandon Turner got into real estate and founded the biggerpockets.com. He is a very famous guy for that. So how he achieved that is through his networking, uh, he found an apartment building owner that uh, was kind of tired of managing the property and wanted to have more hands off, you know, be more free. And uh, he um, proposed, Brandon proposed to this owner to take care of this property. So he made a contract with uh, this uh, apartment building owner called um, Master Lease Option. So basically he takes all the responsibility for this property, he pays all the expenses for this property, he pays taxes, he pays uh, insurances, also, he collects the rent from these tenants, but the portion of this rent is going to the building owner. So with the money that he was collecting from rent from these tenants, uh, he was saving up for the down payment because this contract in the end has an option of purchase. So the money that, that he collected from, um, from this building, he basically uh, purchased this property from that guy. This strategy is very similar to seller financing, except there is no ownership or title transfer during the MLO term. So if any of you guys are in this situation that uh, they want to start investing, but the only thing that is stopping them from doing so is uh, no money for the down payment, very little money, very little income. Let's get in touch and let's make it happen. Let's start building the generation of wealth. If you guys find this information useful, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, my contact information is going to be listed in the description of the video. See you in the next one. So next, uh, next one. And so um, all right, Raj, so I'm going to start again with uh, house hacking. Uh, it, I, I made a mistake here about uh, the um, Oh, actually, no, everything is fine. So I'll, I'll proceed to the uh, point number two, uh, strategy number two.